I'm excited about the new district that was just created because it, it involves all of Pune. It also includes the town of Pahala. We could easily be a self-sustaining community. And I'm really excited to be part of that process and try to push that along in the, in the state legislature. One of the things I'm proudest about regarding Island Naturals is that we created 150 jobs on this island. We weathered a couple of difficult first years as many businesses go through and made some adjustments along the way and learned how to be profitable. We are the largest natural food outlet on the Big Island by far. At Island Naturals, we have been working for quite some time to uh, develop more and more local food products that we can sell. We've worked with a lot of food producers and small farmers to help develop their product. Most new jobs are created by small businesses, either starting up or growing. So I think it's very important to focus on supporting small businesses here in our community. One of my main ideas for creating more jobs is something called a business incubator. A business incubator is a community-based resource where typically you have a commercial kitchen that's shared by different people throughout the week. And we also have a computer center and some mentoring. We have someone that can teach people how to file for a new business, how to do their bookkeeping, how to stay legal with the Department of Health and with their labeling, and to begin to market successfully. As a senator, I would find some like-minded legislators to help um, develop a coalition that supports ideas like this. And I would like to propose that we establish business incubators in our community and in other rural communities around the state. I'd like to propose that as a legislative action and find some funding for it at the legislature. If we can create jobs that involve creating food products that we need in our community, then that's a permanent ongoing job. And the good thing is the person can feel good about that job. They're serving a need in the community. And it's not going to go away. The need for food production is not going to go away over time. I think the kind of jobs we create is very important. We can't encourage developments that harm the community. We have to encourage developments that benefit the community. Anything that damages our natural environment harms us in a very long-term way. There's no development that I think is worth the cost of sacrificing our natural resources. I was particularly proud of being involved in the fight for Waiokelia Puna many years ago. I wrote a lot of articles about the biological significance of it, and I was really heartened when that rainforest was restored to protected status. I consider it one of the most important things I've ever done in my life, just knowing there's a native ecosystem out there that has a chance of surviving that was slated for development is very important to me. I've been an advocate for safe renewable energy for a long time. Back in 1990, I was an intervener before the Public Utility Commission in their first integrated resource plan, which was an attempt to have utilities become more modern and get into the business of energy services rather than just selling electricity. There's been surprisingly little progress along that path in the last 20 years, even though the PUC adopted that plan. So right now we're faced with very, very high electric rates. The right way to address our energy is with energy efficiency investments, solar, and wind. We need to remove the attitude on our utilities that we, that we have to restrain solar power. We've got to remove that obstacle and get them in the business of encouraging solar power. I'm very disappointed that we've cut funding to the Board of Education over these last few years. I understand the financial crisis, but that's the last place where I would cut funding. I would fight tooth and nail to restore all of their funding and in fact increase it. I think we need to encourage more local control of schools so that schools can be more responsive to their community, schools can make the improvements that they realize they need. And the schools need to be held accountable for, for their funds and their performance as well. But that needs to happen on a local level. I think charter schools are an exciting new development in our school system. And the fact that they've thrived and grown so much is a reflection of our need for some alternatives in our public education. I'm really excited about the opportunity to represent Pune and Pahala at the state legislature. There are so many wonderful things that we can be doing. 
we can create sustainable agriculture, sustainable economic growth. We can make life better for our seniors as well as for our kids. These are all things that everyone's in favor of, and our government has been an obstacle rather than in, in helping us encourage it. And I believe that we can be an example for the world and a way to live. We could easily be a self-sustaining community.